unbelievable hello everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video i am going to do a full engine rebuild from scratch it's gonna be an epic video i can promise that much why because i made a bad decision and i bought a water flooded cars although i promised myself never ever buying one but hey what can i do i made a mistake i have to rectify it so basically i have a ruined block as you can see everything is rusted the engine is seized properly i cannot even move it with a long extension bar uh, and i have to fix this i have a solution as you can see i have a nicely prepared uh, engine block i had this for a long time but i didn't have a crankshaft for it i didn't have all the other accessories but now all of a sudden the opportunity arose and i have a bad block a good one here but that crankshaft is good so i will try to make one good engine out of these two junks i'm a diyer not a professional self taught from youtube a lot of research so trust me it's gonna be i think one of my greatest challenges if not the greatest challenges i face in terms of mechanic uh, putting together an engine as you can see it's it's bare engine the fuel pump and the water pump is is on the the block the rest is nothing so i have a good crunch up here and uh, i will remove that transfer it here as you can see i bought all the parts required this is only one part of it i went only high quality parts king bearings original bmw bolts main cap bolts and uh, big end bolt conrod bolts victor is my favorite when it comes to bolts and uh, crankshaft seals so as i mentioned this is only a few of the bunch of parts i'm gonna use i have a cylinder head gasket somewhere so yes it's gonna be epic so please go back watch the first video that way everything will make much more sense this whole rebuild i think i've covered everything let's start this rebuild and uh, make some progress check this out guys the block is ready it's clean conroad pistons bearings the crankshaft is freshly polished i just collected it a few hours ago it just came back from my engine specialty shop so it is good they checked it nothing else left but start the whole rebuild process it's officially on it is showtime i will start by putting the crankshaft plastic gauge clearances because clearance is the key of a successful rebuild crankshaft bearing clearance so let's do that let's make some progress i will set the camera and uh, hope you will enjoy the the rebuild just like that the crankshaft is removed again i know this is a very very time consuming process but if you want to do it the right way these steps are necessary it's a must bearing clearances that's why so many engine rebuilds fail in the first three four five hundred miles because the the clearances are not checked properly so the results we are in uh, in tolerance i'm happy with the results 0040 and 0050 in between uh every uh, every single cap was below 0050 closer to 0040 i measured it with plastic gauge i'm happy with that not on the tight side but not on the loose side either 0025 0065 is the you know the tolerance so we are kind of in the middle happy with the results now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna feed the corn rod the pistons and do the same thing uh, the crankshaft will be refitted this uh, time I can use some lube. I can lube the main cups, torque them down, use the new bolts this time because I'm not gonna remove them, hopefully, again. And uh, then I can put the, the cone road caps, bearings, measure clearances, and we are making good progress. This is the slow part. Uh, once we are past this, it's gonna be like that, and this engine 
in the car and we can start it up. So great program. If you are wondering why this method, the cylinder head is still not uh, bolted on, but the timing cover and uh, half of the timing chain is already done, because I wanted to show you how little RTV silicon is enough to do a proper sealing job. You don't need to use like three tons of silicon. It's going to be pushed inside and outside, so it's not necessary. I just wanted to show you from above how nicely and just enough is, is in there to do a proper proper job let me show you so just have a look in there how nicely just there as well not too much there as well it's not uh, on the timing chain it's not gonna cause any uh, blockings or cloggings it is just enough
So ladies and gentlemen, I cannot describe the feeling how this engine is coming together. It is just no words. From a small block, it grows and grows and grows. It has an intake, exhaust, EGR. Shortly, I will put it on the crane. I will install the turbo, the DPF, and the wiring harness. And pretty much that's it. We are very close to reinstall the engine and uh, fire it up. So I'm very excited, I'm tired, but I don't care. I'm gonna push forward, carry on and uh, enjoy the moment. It's the best feeling, you know, what you can achieve in terms of hobby and, uh, and uh, whatnot. So yeah, let's just carry on. Uh, up until now, I had no issues, no problems, no broken bolts or smashed threads. Everything is just going according to plan. So what can I say? Great progress. Let's continue and then uh, reinstall this engine. Great progress. The car is back in the garage. It's on the lift already. The engine is on the crane. It's prepared. Uh, it's fully assembled. And I'm just smiling because I cannot believe this. It was just a small block with four holes where the pistons, the uh, conros goes. And now we have an engine. It's it, it left to be seen if it will start or not, but let's worry about later. Now I have to reinstall it, connect everything, a few uh, electrical wires, the fuel lines, DPF, exhaust gearbox, and then I'm going to attempt to start it. I have to put oil and bleed the, the system, the bled, bled the system, the fuel system, and then show time. So again, let's stop talking and let's make some progress. Ladies and gents, just like that, the engine is back. It's now completely fully reassembled. I'm uh, <clears throat> activating the fuel pump at the moment to purge the, the air. In the meantime, I'm topping up the coolant system because in a few seconds we are going to start this car. So we're going to do multiple uh, tests in the same time. This is my oil pressure gauge. I'm going to connect it up and I will measure compression as well before we start the car. And in the meantime, we're gonna build up some oil pressure as well. So three things in one go. Let me just hook up my gauges, crank the engine one by one, and then uh, let's see where we are at. Well, we don't have a good start. Um, something is wrong. I replaced the starter. It is very, very hot even now to the touch and it smells. <clears throat> so I'm hoping it's only a bad starter. This car sat in the water longer than I thought. And it's just, just a starter. So now I put a replacement one. <clears throat> Let's try again. And hopefully this time uh, we have better luck. So I measured compression, 23 across all four cylinders. Apologies for the poor 
cameramanship and recording the whole stuff, I'm, you know, focused to do a good job and start this engine. All I'm gonna do now, I'm going to plug the injectors and uh, for the first time, let's uh, let's go full blast and let's see what, what's going on. As I was mentioning, this was disconnected and that's why it's, it's a bit uh, loud, the sound of the engine. But apart from that, what a great result, ladies and gentlemen. I am thrilled and I cannot be more thankful to God that, uh, you know, it's working. Started with an engine block and step by step, I, I cannot describe my English is not that good to start with, but uh, yeah, speechless. So many bolts, so many connectors, measurements, clearances. Also, this job took a couple of days to complete and it was a mess in terms of parts. I had my block and my cylinder head, but then this car's engine came out, disassembled it. I had duplicate the parts like two rocker covers, injector set and clamps and my garage is small. I tried to sort them out but at some point it was just parts even here in the engine bay in the hole, the DPF, some clamps. I will show you a small clip at the back, a block there and, and now it's And now it's pff, unbelievable. It's, I'm just thankful, thankful and, and that's it. So thank you very much uh, for participating and, uh, you know, watching the video. It's running and uh, of course I will start using it. We'll see how it goes. But at the moment, this is a good sign. It started and then we'll see. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Take care. God bless you all.